Oh, I've openly admitted this a million times. Controlled chaos. That is my life. Controlled chaos. And everything that I touch, I breathe, I release, is always controlled chaos. You can stare outside this window as the sun is starting to rise over Carolina. And you can look into the, the trees here, this forest. We planted 1,700 trees in this forest in 1997. And, and what, what is being seen today is a continuation of the results of putting those seedlings into the soil. Controlled chaos. Because I don't ever want to go into a forest that is just pristine. It looks fake. Unoriginal. A forest is supposed to be controlled chaos. You know, it, it provides these little escapisms for, for the squirrels and for different birds and things like that. I, I, I like a gigantic mess. And yet when you get in the center of that mess, it's like, oh, I get it. I get it. Controlled chaos. How about your life? Is it controlled chaos? How do you deal with it? Do you allow things to be placed inside your chaotic moments? And yet when you when you see it, you're going, oh my God, I can't believe it. And then when you get in the center of it, you're going, yeah, okay, I, I, I yeah, yeah, yep. That's the reason why I did it. Because it needed to be here. Controlled chaos. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the... This is the choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. And the sun is waking up right now in Carolina. The rays of the sun are just starting to stretch through this forest. And you can see the the colors of green and and, and the the blueness in the sky. And you you just cannot help but be just brought into a moment of tremendous peace. The rising of a daily sun. I, I don't miss them. I, I, I'm here every day to, to fall witness to this, this thing that happens because I think it's the only guarantee that we have in life outside of life and death. God, that was heavy. Whew. Today we're reading from May 18th, 2022. Junk mail. Oh my God. Junk mail. Has anybody ever purchased any item because it was featured inside junk mail? Digital junk mail is no different. How do they convince advertisers that their email blast is going to bring customers to their business success? How do they do it? I've never understood it. Because I'm that person that blocks it. I unsubscribe. I do everything to make sure I never hear from these people ever again. You know who's guilty of this? These dang job sites. They are the worst. Monster. Indeed. The others. They, they, they take over your smartphone device and they fill it with viruses here's the thing that really gets me the most they bait you with a job that's that makes you sit there and go oh really well i know i'm capable of that and they're gonna pay this and then when you go to the application bait and switch baby bait and switch the job isn't even there it's something else or or what they do is is that the moment that you start filling out the application your phone starts to ring hey i understand you want to further your education i didn't say that i don't know where you got that idea Oh, that's right. The junk mail. I, I was I was filling out an application for a job that I thought, oh, wow, that would be pretty incredible to do. <sighs> my trash can is 30 feet from my mailbox. That's how far these, these thousands of dollars, maybe even millions of dollars spent make it. From my mailbox to the trash can. And for some reason in this loss... I have compassion for those advertisers because they're real people. Someone just convinced them to dump their money into something that goes 35, 40 feet. Could be a family business seeking newer ways to reach people. I mean, I even tune out of radio commercials and I've been in the business. It's in the way. It's junk mail. So many billions of dollars and there's always a sales rep driving a very pretty car. <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, look at all these political ads. Oh, they're just bright, beautiful, glossy. I don't look at them. No, there's no need to. It's, it's, it's like one of those signs alongside the road. Vote for Johnson. Who's Johnson? When it comes to election day or even primary day, I'm not thinking about those things alongside the road. They didn't work. But somebody is driving a prettier car because they were able to convince the average person that this is the way. Really? How far does your junk mail get? I've lined a lot of my bird cages with junk mail. And I want to thank the people that spent the money to, to put that in my mailbox. 
because I didn't have to go out and buy a newspaper. I just used the junk mail. And then my birds pooped all over it. So that I want to thank you. That, thank you. Because that helps me out when it comes time to clean the cage. I, I don't have to sit there and scrape anything. I just remove the junk mail. There's a lot of it in our lives, guys. And if we don't start removing it, we're just going to get clogged up just as bad as that birdcage. I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.